House Call Providers was truly an inspiration. I did not do market research. I didn't do a business plan. I didn't do all those things that you're supposed to do before you start a business. I just felt the calling and that inspiration was what sustained me over the years. All my patients were homebound in the beginning and that was a conscious choice. I wanted to make sure I was serving people who really needed a doctor to come to the home. The biggest obstacle was that I was turning away patients. I didn't have the means because the reimbursement was so low, I did not have the ability to expand the service. We would not have been able to provide this service without the grants that we got from a number of foundations. Too many to name, but Meyer Memorial Trust in particular stands out. And the donations. Sometimes it's a family that can only afford to send 10 or 20 dollars. But they were precious to us. They represented how much appreciation people had for what we were doing. This would not be complete without talking about our first bequest from a patient named Pearl Long. She was just an amazing bright light. And I have felt her presence so many times over the years when we've done fundraising events. For years we called them Pearls of Promise in honor of Pearl Long. Our first team member was a care coordinator and from there we grew to a team of care coordinators. We began hiring social workers because a lot of our patients had either mental health or financial difficulties. All the staff really honored and respected each other and worked together, were able to put aside differences when they arose to do the best they could for the patient, to keep the patient front and center. It was an honor and a privilege to be able to walk with patients and their families right up to that thin veil that we call death. What an amazing experience. So we started a hospice instead of turning over that piece of it to another agency, we could keep it in-house. Through the lobbying efforts of the American Academy of Home Care Medicine, they came up with a proposal for Congress called Independence at Home. And thanks to Senator Ron Wyden, this passed and we became a demonstration site for Independence at Home. It was a three-year demonstration that was set up to show whether a house call practice could actually provide quality care and save money. And we proved it. We succeeded. In fact, we were the stars of the show. There were 18 sites. We were the only one west of the Mississippi. The insurance payers could see that what we did saved not a little bit. We saved millions. I have so many hopes for house call providers. I'm happy that Care Oregon has provided the leadership for house call providers. I'm thankful to Terry Hobbs and the board that we had that negotiated a great partnership with Care Oregon. I hope that there will always be room in the practice for the isolated older people living in their own homes out in the community. That this practice will continue the spirit of service that we were founded on. Thank you.